it's doing the things and it's oops, it is really scenic back there isn't it yeah yeah okay i am i'm gonna have to lean <laughs> that works <laughs> i always put, add these bloopers into the intro <laughs> hi everybody hello you guys know me derek stone this is my friend dan hi or straight man dan as i call him that is fair here at Penzik, i am straight man dan <laughs> uh and you can find me we'll get the plugs out of the way early yeah you can find my uh, stuff all stethro s-t-e-t-h-o-r-e-l twitch.tv slash stethro youtube.com slash stethro twitter all of the places just type it in and you'll find me he's been doing this longer than me he's good at it, he's really good at it. <laughs> so you're probably wondering what the heck is Stone wearing? And where is he? What's going on? And I don't normally dress like this either. <laughs> Just uh... <laughs> Just like the Republic of Luchador video I did with Marky Makeup, we did the follow-up video at a run fair, and I am at an event called the Penzik War. It is a part of the SCA, um, and it's like a rent fair on steroids. We've been here for about two weeks now. Yeah, yeah, two weeks long. Yeah. And we're currently inside Dan's yurt, which is a medieval Mongolian? Yeah, Mongolian yeah, structure, yeah. Uh, you... a round tent. Uh, very popular to glamp in for a period in the <laughs> late 2010s. <Yeah. laughs> his, the camera is actually on his like actual like bed. You know, yeah. we don't, we're not doing sleeping bags out here. No way. Yes, it's it's uh, it's like a ren fair for people that work the ren fairs for reenactors. Yeah. That it's a whole big deal that. You can Google the heck out of. Yeah, go, there's tons and tons of videos out there. But if you haven't figured it out by now, Stone's a bit of a nerd. So <laughs> you're going to see a lot of that stuff in my videos. But if you recall, a while ago when I visited the uh, Double or Nothing Fan Fest, I picked up ooh, a box of Upper Deck AEW trading cards. Now, the only reason why I got them was because they were cheap. It was like <laughs> 25 bucks for like, how many packs are in here? I don't even know. But uh, these are 2022 edition cards. They're not the latest cards. I wasn't sure if I really wanted to get into collecting something new because I already have a bunch of collections, but I couldn't pass them up. And that was like three months ago. And I've been hanging on to this box. It's all wrinkled and bent. <laughs> but we're going to do an unboxing video because everybody loves unboxing videos and see what we got up in here in the old upper deck. Uh, what is this? It's the... Uh, the uh, All Elite A Wrestling uh, Upper Deck. There's six, eight uh, cards per pack, eight packs per box. So we're looking at 64 hot cards. Yeah. So we'll <laughs> we'll do these, and maybe I'll I'll do a little speed through if there are some boring cards, or if we get mm -hmm. tons of duplicates and stuff. Sure. Um, I am looking for. I know it's probably not in this, mm -hmm. but back when. Ethan Page used to do his backstage vlog. Oh, okay. He would get with a bunch of the guys, and Upper Deck would bring the big sheets of cards and just plop them down in front of them, and they'd sign each one individually. Oh, wow. And if you guys know Ethan Page, he's a collector himself. <laughs> and on one particular card, and he showed it to the camera, he put a star under his name. And he said, anybody watching the vlog, here's proof I'm only putting this star on one card. So I, I, it would probably be in like a signature series collector's box or something, but who knows? It might be in here. You never know. Uh, other than that, I like my MJF. Um, sure. I'll take a Darby Allen. Who, who are you looking for? Um, you know what? I would like to see Jungle Boy. I'd like to see a Jungle Boy. A, um, a Jade Cargill would be great. Yeah. Um, uh, it, because it's 2022, other uh, people might not be in there. Like maybe like a Sky Blue or a um, yeah, she was too new. Um, oh, oh my lord, I'm blanking on her name. Willow. Uh, yes, Willow Nightingale. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, they probably won't be in here. Um, but uh, uh, FTR. Oh, if we get some yeah, FTR action. Yeah. That might be their their own card. That would be kind of annoying though. You, have, you got uh, Dax and you not to collect them both. Yeah, I, I haven't looked at these. I don't know if they only do the individual wrestlers or if they also have a tag the team. The tag teams, yeah. That'd be cool if they had the acclaimed in here before yeah, yeah. before Daddy asked. Oh like, yeah, yeah. Like the rookie cards. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, let's do it. I'm cracking it open. Oop. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you one. I'm gonna do one. All and right. we'll do. We'll do the whole like the the makeup artist where you have to. <laughs> I, get the focus. <laughs> I didn't I didn't hurt myself. Everybody thinks I hurt myself. This is actual henna <laughs> finger stains. It looked really nice a long time ago, and it's starting to fade now. But all right, let's let's get in here. Let's get Act in here. Act number one. Let's see who we got. 
Oh, I'm already seeing, I'm already seeing folks. Oh, let's see. Oh, they're numbered too. Hey, oh, hey, okay, hey. hey. Right yeah. off the bat, we got us uh, a Ruby, Ruby Soho. Soho, and this is the orange hair. So this was her debut year. Oh yeah, yeah. Before all of the uh, stuff she's doing now with um, Tony Storm and a uh, Sriracha. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, I kind of like a rookie card almost because she's walking the green hair now and she's full heel. What you got? All right. Ooh. You realize we're going back and forth. <laughs> Good lord. Come well, while you're doing that, magic card opening skills don't fail me now. <laughs> I have uh, Dante Martin. Dante, I hope he's getting better. I do too. The guy's I hope pretty he's amazing. The heel I guess this he's... could be a, a rookie card. If I guess he's still kind of new and young. Yeah, yeah. Wait. Oh, there we go. Okay, we got it open. Let's see who I got. Ooh! So, well, that answers one of our questions. Yeah. I have Jurassic Express. So they are doing tag Jurassic cards. Express. Unfortunately, no longer together, but Jungle Boy and Lucha Store is still doing some great stuff. Well, so. with... Uh... <laughs> Uh, he's 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 Jack Perry now. Oh, that's right. He yeah. is just Jack Perry. No more Jungle Boy. I'm, yeah. We're two weeks behind. There's yeah. no TV out here. Yeah. <laughs> but with the whole uh, FTW Championship, Jack made the heel turn. Mm -hmm. Luchasaurus made the heel turn. We yep. got Christian. Maybe they'll get back together. Yeah. Maybe it'll be the heel Jurassic Express. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Here's an older one. We've got. Ortiz. Oh, Ortiz. And this was before he shaved the head. Oh, yeah, yeah. And now he's like super yoked and jacked and everything. I haven't seen much on him of him on TV, but... Okay. Is he on? Is he doing Ring of Honor stuff more I now? I think he or? is. Okay. I think he is, That yeah. makes sense. I have... I got a good one here. QT Marshall. Marshall, not Marshall. <laughs> Marshall from... Uh, He's doing the QTV stuff now with Hobbs <laughs> and, so and that uh, Australian woman whose name I can never remember with her doing rats. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, as as goofy and as heelish as he is, if you've seen my other videos, I've seen him in person. He is super entertaining. Oh yeah. And so he, okay. And I would say he's a bit. He's a you know lifelong. He knows the industry inside. Absolutely. And out, so, I mean, and dedicated to. He it. might have had an out with DDP, but I think that really. Relationship, it really is a really good one. I think he truly mm -hmm. is a protege of the game. Uh, looks like I got a collector card here. Oh, I've got a canvas. Oh, uh, Dante Martin card. He's doing little flyy bits there, and he's got another little thing on the back. But it's it's like card. Like, I don't know. It's a weird. Oh texture. yeah, yeah. It's like a different stock. Yeah. Instead of holograms, they do these canvas. It's, I guess. The, my next one is incredible looking. Oh, these are a little stuck together. Uh -oh. oh no, this is just thick as heck. Oh. This is just thick as heck. Look at this. this is Max Caster of the acclaimed. Look at that face. Look at the mustache. <laughs> I don't even I've remember never that. I've seen him with a mustache. <laughs> Look at that guy. You can see in the back, but you can see this card is. Thick. Yeah, what I is thought that? it was like eight cards. <laughs> Does, is there a but, reason why? I don't know. <laughs> huh, it doesn't really. I have to look it up. Oh, this is a you've received a trading card with matched used ring material that has oh. been certified to the upper deck companies having been used in an official AEW match. So that's what's in between this card. That's uh, some of the that's canvas. Some canvas. There you go. That's freaking cool. That's fun. <laughs> so I wonder if that's what this guy is. Oh wait, there's a little spot to touch the canvas oh. right there. Oh, you got to show <laughs> them that. Yeah. So there's a little, the little right, spot right, right there. That little circle. <laughs> They're doing some cool stuff. Yeah, that's, that's fun. Alright, oh, oh. Yes, sir. Oh, done. Mm -hmm. Main feature, even. <laughs> the good old Maxwell Jacob Freeman. Before the Triple B. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's my boy, man. He, you know, I. he's such a theater kid at heart. Oh, yeah. He's, yeah, 100%. <laughs> so, yeah, he's a, he's a great villain. There's, there's a non-zero chance I watched his Rosie O'Donnell appearance oh, live. My I've mom seen was it. A, oh, alive. Live. When oh. it was originally broadcast in 1990, whatever, my mom was a big Rosie O'Donnell fan, so. So this is, uh, <laughs> all of these cards have a little bit of a blurb on the back. Some of them talk about, um, you know, their come up or where they're from. And because this is a main feature and not like a rookie card, it kind of explains how he became a main feature, how he used to have the pinnacle, it says here. Ah, okay. And his uh, controversial win over Ar Darby Allen at full gear. So yeah, that's kind of neat. These are, I, I've never 
collected anything other than like superhero trading cards. So these are kind of <laughs> neat. It's funny that I have a main feature for someone we obviously haven't seen oh, recently. Yeah, yeah. Red Velvet. Red Velvet. She's stirring it up. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Straight from your mama's kitchen. <laughs> so defeated the bunny in the first round of the TBS Championship Tournament at Rampage. And she's no longer with the company. So. Oh, so well, there you go. Yeah, that one could be <laughs> might maybe worth something one day, maybe worth nothing at all. I, it's not why I got these, but sure, sure. So I got the old Ooh. old Christian Cage. Outwork everyone. <laughs> um, you know what? I think I think Christian is the next Jeff Jarrett. I think he's going to be in the oh, game okay. forever. Oh yeah, yeah. And yeah, love yeah. him or hate him, he's he's still contributing. You Does know? he have a podcast yet? <laughs> <laughs> all right. This is the last one from this pack because that thick canvas one took up a lot, but I got the Young Buck Super Ooh. Kick Party. <laughs> so there they are. Nice. Um, and yeah, pretty nice sideways card for the tag. I had two tag teams yeah, in my pack. You got so. Okay, so I have two more. First up, I have the Redeemer. Oh, I Miro. Got Miro himself. Welcome back, Miro, to Collision. Absolutely. Um, yeah, it's interesting. I, I feel like inevitably we're going to have, maybe not for a year or two. But I think they're going to do like a draft scenario. Oh, okay. And so far it seems like CM Punk, Miro, and Samoa Joe are like the kings of Saturday Night. Oh, so. yeah, yeah. And then last in this pack, I got the old Adam Cole, baby. Love Adam Cole. He's so good. I didn't appreciate him until he, his new latest run with MJF. Uh, I am I eating it. Up. I actually learned about Adam Cole from uh, him streaming with a speedrunner, Grand Pooh Bear. Uh, we're not well, yeah. He's streaming with a speedrunner. They played like um, uh, two-player games together, two-player cooperative games, okay. and he was so funny. And I knew he was a wrestler, yeah. but I didn't know anything about him. This was years ago, so yes. before I started getting into AEW. So it's the, the the video gaming isn't a gimmick. It's really what he does. Yeah, yeah, and that's and uh, I think he's very happy to be with AEW, who doesn't put a restriction on like that. Like when well, you WWE can't do anything. Yeah. clamp down on it hard. Yeah, it's like let these people breathe. Yeah, let, they get, <laughs> let them. If, the better their own personal brands do, the better your brand yeah. does. <laughs> All right, so I'm in pack number two, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna start off. Not one of my favorites, but I respect what he's brought to the table. We got good old Eddie Kingston there. Okay, strong style. Yep. And now, now he's running wild in the ROH ring. Now I have, I think, one of your favorites, at least from certain angles. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky Starks, Woo. or as Jr. would say, Ricky Starks. <laughs> Ricky Starks is a beautiful man. That is a beautiful, beautiful man. And oh, one of my favorites. Ooh. Welcome back and new. I, I as far as I know, as we're aware, still TBS champion. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we got Chris Statliner. This was back when she was doing the alien gimmick. She mm -hmm. doesn't do this anymore, but I'm so glad she's able to come back from that injury. Knee yeah. injuries are so tough, and she had the same thing happen to both yeah. knees. And yeah. The second time it was just such a nothing move that caused. Yeah, it. yeah. It, it was just it's like really sucks because you do all this crazy sh shenanigans, and then it's something yeah. simple that takes you out of the game. <laughs> All right, my next one is Anna J, not Anna J A S, mm -hmm. just Anna J. So, um, with uh, speaking of Jungle Boy, they're they're still oh, yeah. an item, right? Yeah, I saw. I didn't even or know they J had Jack they, Perry. Yeah, they have a joint Instagram. Today. Oh, do they? That must be fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty cute, though. They got. I'm not gonna say they're gonna have inappropriate stuff, but they definitely show the PDA, mm -hmm. and they they look good together. I oh, gotta yeah. give them to them. They look good together. <laughs> All right, next up, Ooh. the bastard. We got Pac. Now, <laughs> I love Pac's athleticism. Mm -hmm. I love Pac's physique, but his hair drives me nuts. <laughs> Do something with your hair. <laughs> um, I'm assuming he's still a member of the Death Triangle, even though he's got his own drama that he's yeah, making he's, right he's kind of like in between ever since Blood and Guts. So yeah. I don't know what's happening. Um, my next one is excuse me, Vicky Guerrero. <laughs> <laughs> so another person I think is kind of moved on at yeah, this point. Her, but her contract literally I think just ended. But I mean, hey, she uh, she put together the Vixens. Yeah, yeah. All right, so now uh, we showed her. Uh, rookie card. Now we've got my main feature card, one Ruby Soho. Back at it. This was like prime, like 
Yeah, Her yeah. and Ethan Page were vlogging together. They did the Bucky's versus Sheets challenge. Mm-hmm. The, the don't what was it? Fundraiser challenge. Okay. Fundraiser challenge. I think uh, I think she's doing a lot of good stuff with the. Uh, I can't remember the name of the group. The the Exiles, right? No, what is it? No, the Outcast. Uh, Outcast. Outcast. I was very close. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. The Outcast. I think she's doing. I she's, mean, she's really expanded her like move set since that yeah, change too. That's, so that's true. That's I think true. Uh, I think she's doing some good stuff. It's one of those things where I love to hate them. Oh you know, yeah, like I don't I don't like them, but I'm not supposed to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Next up is a legend in the industry, oh, one yes. Dustin Rhodes. They call him the Natural. Yep. So, uh, just I mean, Gold Dust. What can yep. what can you say about Dustin I, Rhodes? He's just so great. Dustin Rhodes is up there for me with uh, Billy Gunn. Very mm-hmm. influential because I was a child watching this stuff, and I remember thinking, that's different. Yeah. That's different. I, and it wasn't well received at first. And then over time, he got popular. <laughs> he was different and popular. And I was like, hmm, yeah, that's kind of cool. The gold dust stuff in the 90s was excellent. Yeah. <laughs> All right. First time we're seeing him, and he's a main feature. We got Ooh. the Ocho with his bat. Yep. With what's his bat? Lloyd? Is that Floyd? Floyd. 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 Yeah, yeah. bat Floyd. <laughs> <laughs> um, this one doesn't seem to be any one of his particular uh, alter egos. But he always has really nice jackets. I love those jackets. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of legends, we got one more coming your way. Ooh. It's Sting! <laughs> so there's Sting in all of his glory. Can't believe that he's still going. And it's going as hard as he does. What's the... Uh, so why does that one have a green border? That, that's, I, uh, I don't know. It, there's nothing, it doesn't say anything <laughs> special on the back. That I that I'm seeing, it's, but it's, yeah, it's just uh, it's it's numbered 291 out of 399. Um, so maybe that if you can, we'll see if we can get the, the number in there. So maybe it has something to do with that. It also is a little foily. It's yeah. tough to tell in the outside light, but it might be foiled, and that might be why. So next up, Malachi Black. Hey. Uh, I love this guy's commitment to his own creative, you know, narrative. Mm-hmm. Also, everybody's commenting he has recently shaved the beard. Oh, yeah, yeah. And they said he looks even more nefarious now. Yeah. (laughs) Here's an interesting one. Uh, It's Ortiz, but it's outside the ring Ortiz. So there he is just hucking a football in a stadium someplace. (laughs) So, um, oh, it says the back. Tosses a little pigskin in front of the bleachers in preparation for the Inner Circle's stadium stampede match against the Elite at Double or Nothing 2023. Uh, May 2020. So, there you go. That's a little behind the scenes peek on those yeah, cards. Yeah, yeah. And I, you know what? I discovered AEW during the pandemic. So all mm-hmm. that stuff they call it the pandemic era. Yeah, um, yeah. All that stuff I think is really important because they they went through efforts to not only keep working but they utilized their own bubble as like an audience. So oh, it wasn't yeah, yeah. like quiet and awkward. One of my favorites in the women's division, we have one Penelope Ford. Oh, Penelope Ford, great. I really wish they would start doing more um, mixed gendered matches. Oh, yeah. Her matches with her and, Kip. Yeah, her, yep, against, her and Kip. I think were it great. was, uh, they feuded early. Oh, the, yeah, there was, um, I think they wrestled, um, uh, good lord, uh, Sky Blue and. Um, uh, Dante Martin. Yeah. Uh, and so, also, yeah, Ty Conti and. Um, uh, my I'm terrible. Sammy, Sammy, Sammy Guevara. Yeah. yeah. So what happened with that was Sammy Guevara and Ty had won the Triple A intergender. Yeah, match. yeah. And then <laughs> AEW said, "Let's build our own little little division." Yeah. It was like for like about a month there, it was looked like it was coming together, and then it kind of. Well, I didn't. didn't let's, <laughs> let's get into some spicy stuff. Uh-oh. Didn't Sammy and and Ty get stripped of the title kind of quietly behind closed uh, doors? I think they did because <laughs> they weren't able to. Do all the AAA shows that they yeah, were supposed yeah. to do. <laughs> so here's an interesting one. I've got my love, my my, my <laughs> third or fourth husband. I've lost count. Uh, we have MJF yet again. Only this time it's like you know schmoozy portraits. It's, it's about to, it's about to drop the bomb on the mic, MJF. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> here's somebody I haven't seen in action very much re- recently. Lee Johnson. Oh yeah. Lee Johnson. So. Um, although I think they had a match over the past weeks because I saw some memes about um, uh, 
Julia Hart being uh, the memes about Julia Hart's face when Lee Johnson bans you from ringside <laughs> because oh. they had a match okay. against the House of Black. Nice, nice. <laughs> and then the last one in this pack, ah. we got announcers too. It's Justin Roberts. So look at him. Uh, from the live, I haven't seen AEW live, but you oh, have, yeah. and you said he was incredibly entertaining he, live. He is the star of the show live. Like, he works the crowd like nobody's business. He needs nothing but a short breath of, you know, uh, quiet time, and he can take charge. <laughs> like, as soon as they go on commercial, it's like, are we commercial? Okay, I'm running the show from here on out. Um, I also saw him, he's one of the many wrestlers I saw wandering. The MGM Casino during Fight Fest or um, Fan Fest. Okay. And he was wearing a wife beater, and the man got muscles. <laughs> you, look, you don't look like it in this in this. But he the suit hides he's it. He's got guns, and I'm like, bro, what? I thought you were just the voice. Yeah, I like me some Dustin Roberts. He's in a chain. Oh, these are hard to open. Some of them are, yeah. Why don't you go ahead? Okay. Up next, we got the one that you were looking out for, I think. Uh, Darby oh, Allen. Yeah, Darby yeah. Allen was great. Um, so young. I'm so glad that he found professional wrestling where he could flourish because if every time I hear stories about him, his past, he was, it really found like he was trying to find something to latch on to, and he's doing all kinds of crazy business. Yeah, and if, um, if you look at his social media, he really he doesn't treat himself well when he has too much time off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just, I'm going to jump this deep over my house. <laughs> um, I will say I do worry that if he keeps going at the pace he's going, he, you know... Sure, yeah. He, he might hurt himself, you know, and I, we want him to be around for a long time, but I mm -hmm. absolutely love him, absolutely love him. Oh, oh, wait, look, that's oh there you go. All right, so, first up... And my little patch is <laughs> Trent. <laughs> it's <laughs> question mark. <laughs> Trent question mark Beretta. I, like they don't. They're not sure if that's his name. I, there might be a gimmick to that. I don't know it. Yeah, I I did. My first experience with him was when he came back from the broken neck. So oh, right. I didn't yeah. get him before that. Yeah, he um, was he was a popular member of Rapunzel Vice in Japan. I didn't know him back then. Um, up next we have. Matt Hardy, I think this is from the the big money Matt era. Yep. So the truth is the truth, but um, seeing him reunited with his brother in the ring was was great. They were doing some great stuff together, uh, and I really like the the storyline they're going, moving him away from that that weird heel thing that he was doing to just messing with Ethan Page, yeah, and now yeah. it's yeah, it's and a I, lot of fun. I I I I like this the Hardy Boy stable. They're stable now. Then I like that it was a catalyst to usher Ethan Page closer to a face turn. So, yeah. And, I, and it's Matt Hardy. I mean, come on. Yeah. He's been around forever. Um, so, next on mine is good old Trent's tag partner, old Chucky T. Chuck <laughs> Taylor, the N Kentucky gentleman. Named himself after shoes and somehow never got sued. <laughs> yeah. By his own admission. And if you know him and Trent make up the best friends. And I love their mm -hmm. cute little shows of affection they do. You got to give the people what they want. <laughs> <laughs> I got a tag team again. Uh, and it's one that I called out FTR. Oh, sure the, is. Uh, the champs right now. Mm -hmm. um, the seven star FTR. Or they're up to nine star uh, yeah. now, I think. <laughs> yeah. The stars keep on coming. But yeah, what a great tag team. Oh, that, um, that cash my, trailer. My friend, one of my friends turned me on to them as the uh, the revival back in their WWE days. And really, they liked their style. And was excited to see them over in AEW where, where people tend to have more freedom. Yeah. So. Yeah. So we got our first duplica duplicate. We got the Young Bucks tag team card again. I'll just go ahead and skip that yep. one. Also, I have a duplicate immediately <laughs> of FTR again, but the border is gold this time uh -huh. instead of silver. So I don't know. Again, we don't know what all the, the details are. The back of the cards seem the same. So eh, just a little variation. Yeah. Sort of like back when maybe Ma Magic had different arts on the same cards just oh, to okay. increase the the collectability i thought maybe it was like a lim this one has more limited prints than the other one or less maybe limited. so i got another one of the canvas cards and it is the oh, one and nice. only paul white no, no more. bs yep. <laughs> interestingly we haven't seen him lately no he was doing announcing stuff so but I is don't he know. is he on roh or is he just more behind the scenes at this i don't point? i have no idea because with no more darker elevation yeah 
And oh, we missed so much great Taz commentary with no more dark. <laughs> oh, you know? gosh. Yes, we do. Here we go. Speaking of uh, of champions, here's a former women's champion, Jamie Hater. Hater's gonna hate. Mm -hmm. Um, she's she's just great. She's great in the ring. Um, I'm glad that. Uh, she kind of came into her own from under Britt Baker. Exactly. Not that I think Britt was holding her back. I think Britt was just she was had just, more draw at the yeah. time, and and, um, and I'm glad that they are working together still. Yeah, agreed, 100 percent agreed. Because when she was with the the Britt camp, uh, I didn't know who she was, and then she came out strong, and her her entrance music live mm -hmm. is infectious. Like you just <laughs> you just sit there and you start raving after a while. But next in my pile, we have Hobbs, Powerhouse Hobbs, old Billy over here. And it's a main feature. I think his name is Will, actually. Yeah, Will Hobbs, Will. yep. What do you got? And up next, I have a main feature, Max Caster again. He shaved the mustache and hit the gym yeah. since that last card. <laughs> Look how jacked he is. This is a towering man. He's like six foot three or something. He's yep. huge. Yep. Um, and dropping the, the, the elbow from the top, the mic drop, what a great uh classic move uh, and and you love good i love good tag team moves yep and uh the arrival followed by the mic drop is just a great tag team combo it is and the the shiver me timbers the shiver me timbers <laughs> so here's an interesting one this one kind of dates this pack mm -hmm. i've got a kyle o'reilly and if you know he only lasted about a year in aew and moved on um, really popular in my circle. A lot of my guys, my friends, liked him in WWE. Yeah. But, As the undisputed yeah. uh, elite or yeah. the undisputed, what were they? The undisputed something. Uh, I can't remember. Yeah, I don't, yeah it was, it was a, a quick <laughs> flash in the pan. I don't remember. Um, well, no, they, in, in NXT, they were oh, they Adam Cole and, and Bobby Fish and um, Strong. Roger. Strong. Roger Strong. Right. Yeah, Roger Strong. Right. Uh, up next, we have. Ty Conti, congratulations to her and Sammy Guevara on uh, almost having their first child. Yeah, she got that I, big old baby bump. Yeah, now. I saw him on, uh, I, I haven't watched it yet, but I saw the thumbnail for Hey EW uh. um, <laughs> with RJ City, and they were on there. So I'll have to ch I'm a big fan of uh, Hey EW, so I'll have to catch up on <laughs> <R> those. <laughs> yeah, some of the, uh, RJ City, I, I, I am jealous of the man because he has the job I want. <laughs> On my pile, I've got, let's call it first year, Daniel Bryanson, oh, yeah. when the hair is a little bit shorter. <laughs> this was when he came to the company and just did the grand tour of, hey, can I just do a bunch of, like, dream matches? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> came out of the gate and wrestled Kenny. <laughs> yeah. And, uh... and we were like, yes, please do that. <laughs> and now uh, I got Max with his partner. Uh, it's The Acclaimed. Yes. They got the tag team, The Acclaimed. Oh, what? Yeah. A great tag team. I watched them. I loved them on Dark. Seeing them uh, move up uh, to to um, Rampage uh, and uh, become the champions. They were, you know, became so popular so fast, yeah. and they they just did their own thing. They were very committed to what they wanted to do, and were like, it, it's gonna. They knew that it was gonna work, and they were right. So, and you know, I I love watching like how they accidentally progressed too because mm -hmm. like the scissor thing was just them goofing off and yeah then, yeah then it caught on they're just and... with the the a for the acclaimed and then max would come in and go <laughs> <laughs> I, I remember very very specifically every time they would win a match max would grab his opponent's hands and kiss him and i remember taz on commentary well there's max being weird being, again he's about to get weird <laughs> So the last one in this pile, I have the one and only Thunder Rosa, and this was back during her phenomenal women's champion uh, run. Um, she now works, I believe, in Spanish commentary or production. She's still with the company. Yeah, She's yeah. Not wrestling. But if you ever get a her chance, injury. yeah, yeah, if you get a chance, go back and watch. It might have been 2021 or 2022 when she defended her championship against Serena Deeb. It is a clinic of a match. It's one of my favorites. I have to figure out which show specifically that one was from. Oh yeah, that was a good match. Um, up next, we have John Moxley. Good. Man, what? This, I would, I would say this ages uh, Mick Foley. Um, he just is up for anything. Uh, and again, so committed to uh, wrestling. Uh, and the feature and everything that it's about, um, and uh, you know, not many people are too into 
uh, the hardcore style of matches and make it that that far. There's a lot of people yep. that are into it, but not they don't, they yeah. don't catch on like John Moxley does. Yeah, so, and he um, he plays the the rough and gruff guy, but he does make a lot of sacrifices and sure. stuff for the company. I mean, think about the whole CM Punk thing. You know, he was on his way to a vacation. Yeah, <laughs> and then they're right. like, uh, "We need you to wear the title again." Yeah, and he, he was, was like. He was out All in the right. back having a smoke, and they <laughs> called him in. You know? <laughs> He's like, well, cancel my vacation. Let me call Renee. Um, and also, congratulations to him on, on getting clean, because I know that was a, a, a big albatross around his neck for many, many years. Absolutely, so. absolutely. Uh, next on my pile is the Murder Hawk Monster, one Lance Archer. He's great. I'm so glad he's back. Um, I'm so glad that he has, uh, again, the freedom to do what he wants to do, uh, out there with Jake the Snake. Mm -hmm. You know what's <laughs> funny, though? Like, he's one of those guys where, like, if you catch him in the eye at the right camera angle, you can just see in his eyes that he's really nice and soft. Yeah. He's probably a big teddy bear at home, but he'll come to work and he's a murderer. <laughs> see, I saw pictures of him from his uh, WWE days. And I'm like, that looks like a completely different person. Yeah. He's just in the standard, like tight trunks and like a clean, very tight cut beard and short, short hair. And I was like, that there's just no style to that. But now <laughs> set him free and the style comes out. Yep. Um, I have a repeat kind of it's the sting card again only with a silver border no number so oh, yeah. it's sting again I'm, second time I'll do some research on the different borders all right for me I got the old hangman hey got Adam Page former AEW champion mm -hmm. and uh, yeah you're doing some great stuff with the elite I, I've been back and forth on on hangman and I'm currently in a in a a hangman positive area yeah, yeah. so there, he... was, there was a moment when i was like really like eh, yeah. again eh. but <laughs> but no i i he's yeah i'm i'm on board with i'm i'm on that horse eh, <laughs> boy, up next we have i don't know if this is repeat or not but it's miro i don't know if it's the exact same car but we got miro again looks similar all there right and now i got uh our first referee oh, ref we got all rick knox and if I'm not mistaken, I think his daughter is entering the referee corps in huh. the Indies. Or is, isn't Rick the uh, the head referee over I th at AEW? I think so. It probably says on here. Uh, do, 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 do. No, it doesn't specify. Okay. But I mean, he's been in the game a long time. Yep. All the refs at AEW are great. Yeah. I like the way they utilize the AEW utilizes the refs in a way that, like, when I watched WWF back in the '90s, yeah. I didn't know any of the referees' no. names. Yeah. So they just didn't mention it. Um, ooh, here's a debut card. Oh. Uh, or has his debut dates for one Paul White again. So full full uh, art on the card there. And uh, uh, while Paul White had been a member of AW Broadcast Team for months, made his entering debut September 5th, 2021 at All Out, scoring the win over QT Marshall. I didn't realize his debut so. match was out of pay-per-view. <laughs> There you go. And I got my first duplicate. I got the old Christian Cage again. I don't remember if the other one was a uh, uh, yellow or gold bordered, but <laughs> not too many duplicates if you notice. Yeah, not not too bad. Oh, I have some good ones coming up. Uh, here's a main feature for Ty Conti. There she is again in a different pose. Mm -hmm. And this is an interesting one. It looks like it's a foil. Oh. And I got the Jake Hager MMA match card. Because they did one of those. <laughs> <laughs> I do like I do like Jake Hager though. I think he's you, you he's can got tell, potential. You can tell how old this one is by you know, the tattoos that are missing. But <laughs> we're sending Hook. <laughs> Hook is just phenomenal. I, this kid is all talent, and he's going nowhere but up. Yeah. Um, so I'm really interested to see him expand his storylines now he's with you know i don't know if he's still mingling with uh, jack perry after the losing the ftw oh, they're, belt they're feuding they're okay yeah, good yeah, yeah. but um anytime hook is on screen i'm happy yeah i and it's funny because right when i had said it out loud i said what are we doing with hook like yeah he's great but all you know there's not much uh mixture going on here it's kind of just cookie cutter the same thing and as soon as i said it He's in the in the middle of a, a feud. He loses the belt, you know, and now he's making these really creative uh, promos like throughout New York City. Oh, nice! And he's not he's still not speaking much, but at least mm -hmm. he's doing something creative. So yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to see more of Hook. 
And then now I've got me another main event card, and it is Thunder Rosa yet again. This was the year. This was the year when she was active, and I really appreciated uh, everything she was bringing to the table. I don't know if any of the rumors that she had some backstage drama is true or not. Yeah, that, yeah, I've heard some things, but well, my focus on the negative. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm next talking about streaming. Here's Evil Uno. <laughs> I really like. Evil Uno's uh, work in the ring. He's he's uh, seems to be putting in more time yep. uh, in the gym and in the practice room or wherever to uh, to really work on on being better in the ring, and it shows incredibly. And him coming out there all riled up, uh, pulling some some real fun stuff in in the ring is yeah. really fun to watch. And uh, and I always enjoyed watching him doing the the AEW game stuff. Mm -hmm. where he's had people in to play games and have asked questions about games. It's just fun. Yeah, with the um, with the end of Dark and Dark Elevation, it was kind of like, well, wait a minute, the Dark Order were, you know, the kings of that ring. It's nice to see that they've carved out a little space for themselves in ROH, and they've taken on kind of a more serious role. Um, but I think I think we're liter literally just waiting for Brody Lee Jr. to become of age, mm -hmm. and I think we're gonna have this massive Dark Order revival, and it'll be like, you know. Bullet Club versus Dark Order. You know, it'll be like <laughs> that level of stuff. We're just, we're in the like cooking phase. We're in the cooking phase. We'll get there eventually. Yep. Join the Dark Art Order. Paul White got his card. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, he loved those <laughs> And then on mine, I've got the old Red Death himself, ah, uh, Daniel Garcia. This was when he first came in and he was still doing the like, I'm super serious and I have to wear my towel everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Now he's doing dance contests. Yeah. <laughs> I love the man, though. I've had the opportunity to see him in person. He is an attractive young man, I'll tell you what. <laughs> All right, my last one here is Scorpio Sky, former TNT champion. Haven't seen much of him lately. Oh, no, he's know. back. Yeah, he's is back. Is he back? Okay, he's, good. Uh, he's been... On, he had um, that super long win streak at 400 something days without taking a loss, and yeah. Uh, and yeah, he I love his promos too. He has a, a, a real real nice style. Yeah, so. just the, the Thanos. Yeah, snap. the snap at yeah. the end to end them all. Yep, um, great. Yeah, he's he showed back up on Collision, and he has shown interest, I believe, in the TNT title. So okay, we'll see. We'll see what happens with old Scorpio. And my last card is another <laughs> referee card. We have. Bryce Rimsburg himself, if that's his real name. <laughs> the only man, the only referee talented enough uh, to referee a match between two invisible people. <laughs> Invi the invisible man and his evil brother, Invisible Stan. <laughs> so, not a bad haul. Yeah, not at all. Uh, we got, I, I think, oh, the... Oh no! Ah, the earthquake at Pennsylvania. Okay, no, we're good. We're good. The, I really dig the the canvas card yeah. that has the the little the little patch of canvas in there. That's incredible. Yeah, um, that's, that's really just cool. fun. And then yeah, the, these are these are fun. Yeah, uh, I'm I'm sure the foils are probably a little bit more higher sought after than the others. And I'll go through and I'll do my research and see if the gold borders and the green borders are. I mean that and green the numbered. The yeah, green, that green card was numbered. Yeah, the green sting that was that was numbered up there. So yeah. So I mean, if you guys collect these, you know more than I do. Uh, drop a comment and let yeah. me know. Do I do I got something good here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Get in the comments. You know, maybe I'll auction it off. You know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like so much work. <laughs> Uh, and if you like to see these, um, these this is an old card. So if you want to see me do some other unboxing videos, let me know in the comments and I'll get some more modern cards. And who knows, maybe I'll build an old member. Remember back in the day when everybody had the binders? Oh, yeah. I have those binders <laughs> yeah. full of magic cards from yeah. the 90s that I will hold on to forever because they appreciate better than any stock you could buy. So <laughs> no, uh, no Jade Cargill. No, nope, no Jake Cargo. No Jungle Boy. No CM Punk. But yeah, I'm not disappointed yeah. about that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we got some great ones. The Young Bucks, FTR, Jurassic Express. Acclaimed Before Daddy Ass. Acclaimed Before Daddy Ass. Yeah. Mustache Max Caster. <laughs> <laughs> and a, a, a Paul White debut card. Yep, yep. No Anthony Bowens. He's another. Yeah. I love Anthony yeah, Bowens. He's so. He's such a sweetheart. Uh, yeah. He's just so so happy 
to be able to to be himself at his job um and it's it's so cool uh, the, i don't know if you saw the video um for pride month where he brought his boyfriend to work and he was like he's like i wrestled in all these places doing these things that was by far the nerves i've ever been walking into an arena with my boyfriend next yeah. to me yeah. and everybody was just like giving him hugs and yeah and just having a great time so yeah <laughs> it's you know uh a lot of people say oh it shouldn't matter and it's like you're right it shouldn't matter, but it, nowadays it still kind of does matter. Yeah. Um, so the visibility is great. I love the way AEW um, gives everybody the opportunity. You know, they're equal across the board for sure. Um, but yeah. All right. Before we get too serious with it, <laughs> uh, make sure you guys check this guy out on all the socials and on the Twitches, and he does the streams. Like, you do, like, different games all the time. So I, I stream every Tuesday and Thursday from 9 p.m. Eastern to about midnight, give or take. Um, I play new games, old classic games. Currently, I'm working through Grand Theft Auto Vice City, one of my favorite games. Um, but I've played a bunch of, like, Binding of Isaac, and uh, I've played new stuff when it just comes out, and, like... Um, what a, uh, Elden Ring I played that one and oh. basically just came mm. out so I'm, I'm doing all kinds of stuff I like to revisit my past and get revenge on those games that I never fully finished as a kid and uh, also check out new stuff so I'm all over the place I'm just there to have fun well, the original reason I started streaming was to dig through my gigantic Steam library of yeah. games I picked up in sales that I've never played so. <laughs> <laughs> and so, it kind of just evolved from there and just to give you guys some context, we know each other from this camping event we've been doing for many, mm -hmm. many years, but we also do watch parties of wrestling. Mm -hmm. He was a high school wrestler. He grew up watching yep. pro wrestling. So I started in the late eighties and then, uh, watched WWF back then, uh, found a, uh, a or sorry ECW uh, -huh. uh in ni late 93 because I lived on the east coast so it was on local cable Marky um, used to go to those <laughs> shows weekly that's incredible <laughs> yeah. there, there were always um we always used to see the same audience members in the front of these guys in like Hawaiian shirts and straw hats <laughs> and if you go watch the replays you'll see them like front and center um, but yeah, and then it was sometime in the early 2000s, I kind of just fell off of wrestling and rediscovered it right after the pandemic when uh, I had friends tell me that AEW is doing a lot of great stuff because I saw some WWE stuff here and there and I was like, eh, and then even today I've seen some WWE stuff. And I'm still like, eh, on that, but AEW yeah, yeah. Is, is killing it, so. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I it, pretty much same story. You've heard me talk about it before. Um, but yeah, so he was the reason I was able to keep track of all the stuff back when I was having my <laughs> internets and cable issues and stuff like that. And uh, I really wanted to at least do one video with him, if only the one. Um, <laughs> I hope hopefully we can do yeah, some more. I, I love do, it. Yeah, absolutely. Maybe we'll do yeah. uh, maybe we'll do live shows in like Jersey or something together. I'll come sure. Out, you know, yeah, yeah, out. sure. That'd be Get sick. some tickets and see something. Maybe yeah. some local stuff or who knows. Yeah, it's man. been a long time since so I've seen wrestling live. One thing I did see that because we are behind. We haven't watched wrestling in a couple weeks, but I did see that um, RVD wrestled this week. Oh AEW. yeah, I saw I saw RVD with <laughs> a, with AEW above yeah. his head. I'm like, oh, I can't wait to find out <laughs> what that's all about. Yeah, I'm like, I, I have it. I have my DVR set, so when I go home, I'm gonna just binge watch all R of them. RVD was one of my favorites, man. The five star frog splash, oh, the Mister Monday Night himself yeah. out there again, and. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> good times, good times. Well, we'll just prattle on. You guys don't have to listen to us. Thank uh, you very much for having me oh, on. Please, thank you for being <laughs> on here. Make sure you give them a follow, like, comment, subscribe, all of that stuff. And uh, yeah, bye. Goodbye. <laughs>